Close your eyes. Watch your breath. All the way in, all the way out. We want to watch it continuously because we want to see what's going on in the mind. And to understand that, you have to be with the present moment as consistently, consistently as you can, so you can see connections. Otherwise, you just see little bits and pieces, and then you play connect the dots. You don't really see what's going on. You may believe what the Buddha taught, but if you don't really see it in the mind, that belief can get kind of hazy. Because he said, we're suffering because of things that the mind is doing. So you want to see those things and see the connection. If you don't see the connection, you say, well, I can get away with it this time, or get away with it that time. But if you see that there really is a connection, you act on an unskillful intention and there's going to be suffering. When you really see that clearly, then it's a lot easier to say no the next time around. As for the skillful things, when you see that there are some things that are difficult but the results are good, it's a lot easier to say yes the next time around. So try to make your attention as continuous as you can, all the way in, all the way out. Don't think of the breath as in and out breath as being radically separate. Think of the in breath coming in as a product of the out breath. There's a continuous line there, and so make your attention as continuous a line as you can. Because otherwise it's just bits and pieces. To make another comparison, it's like a puzzle. You've got these bits and pieces here, and you try to put them together, and they may not quite fit, but you jam them together so they do fit. And then you think you've got a real picture. But if you understand what the real picture is, and then you look very carefully to make sure that the pieces fit very carefully and snugly, just right, then you know you've understood what's going on. You've got the picture. So try to keep things as continuous as you can. Because it's in that way that staying with the breath really does make a change in the mind. Otherwise, it's just one more place to visit as you go down your trap lines in the course of the day. And it doesn't make that much of a difference. It gives you a little bit of place to rest, but otherwise not much else. To really see things, you've got to be here as smoothly and continuously as possible.